Good day. Well, it's a lovely day. It really is. Nice and warm. And it was really sunny this morning. It isn't really sunny anymore, so I think there might be something coming. But right now, it's warm and sunny-ish. So, um, oh, as you can see, there is my my new hoop, my homemade hoop. It works wonderfully. I was practicing on it this morning. It's definitely different, right? It's not as heavy. So it's, you have to work harder to keep it up. And, you know, it takes some adjusting, right? So I'm working on it. Anyway, it's done. Got it done this morning. And that was kind of fun. Tape, that stuff is really sticky. I, I used the uh, hockey tape. Looks like hockey tape, right? Yeah, hockey tape. And uh, I had no idea that if you get it on your hands, it's really hard to get off. Really hard. Anyway, it's done. It's not perfect, but who's ever going to notice? And it serves the purpose. So we'll see how that goes. I think one day I'm going to get a wooden hoop, still. But for now, this is what I'm doing. Ah, so some unfortunate uh, news, some bad news from my sister. yesterday <clears throat> she called to say that my dad was in the hospital I said whoa <clears throat> but the thing is she told me he's been in the hospital since Tuesday uh, after the kids left on Tuesday uh, my sister and my mom and my dad was sitting around and my dad started to tilt and my mom said I think he's having something either heart attack or stroke and they called an ambulance and sent him to the hospital but they never heard uh, and still haven't really heard what it was uh, whether that's my mother's information or the doctor's information but whatever I should have tried to pin someone down but anyway I didn't see anyone um, so it sounds like he had a small stroke and he was getting worse and worse I mean he was in the hospital within short time so that was good uh, and he was getting uh, less and less uh, responsive day by day so from Tuesday to Friday and then to Sunday and um, Anyway, my, my uh, sister phoned because she thought, she told my daughter about it. But my daughter sent her an email or a text on Friday telling her about a job that she'd gotten. And uh, my sister responded saying that Opa was in the hospital. <laughs> and I suppose she assumed that my daughter would tell us. But what she told my daughter was just that he was in for some tests. And so my daughter just didn't think it was anything serious. Anyway, whatever. She called me saying, oh, it's not too good. And I said, what is it? And dad's in the hospital. And I said, oh, how, when did this happen? And anyway, whatever. So I called my mom, talked with her, uh, and said, okay, fine, we'll come today. And um, so we stopped in there today. And she, yesterday she says he might not recognize you. Today he is uh, talking. He seems to be the same old guy. And uh, just that he's in, he, he can't walk anymore. He can't, or not very much. And he looks like death warmed over. I guess when you don't go outside 
That's what you look like. Anyway, he doesn't look very good, but he's obviously improved. And my mom keeps on telling, he keeps on saying he wants to go home. My mom keeps on telling, you're not going home. The doctor said you can't go home anymore. Well, the doctors did tell her that, but she doesn't need to tell him that until the doctors come back and tell him what is wrong with him or what happened to him. But anyway, my mother, tactful, she doesn't, doesn't say things like that. She doesn't think. So I kept telling him, just, just wait, Dad. You have to find out what's wrong with you. Wait till the doctors come back. But whatever. Um, so anyway, we didn't stay terribly long. We stayed for a little while. And then I said, I'll, get, I'll call you tomorrow morning and see what's going on. They're having trouble with their air conditioner at home, so. Yes. So that was it. So, my hoop's done. My dad's at the hospital. Doesn't look like he's gonna get home again. Um, Stephanie texted me, because I had texted her saying, so, are you back? How was it? And uh, she says, it's great, but I'm still there. <laughs> She's still in Europe, but she's coming back tomorrow. And um, I'm having my coffee. I didn't have my coffee after lunch because we were going to the hospital, so it didn't seem like the optimal thing to do. So I'm having it now. I was all worried and depressed last night but my dad is not in dire straits. Not that he's in great straits, but he's okay. And we'll see what the doctor says. And I think that's about it. I'm going to now text my sister and let her know that I was there and how he is. I think that's about it. I went swimming. Swimming was great. Swimming was really good. Um, all the uh, Pan Am games swimming that I've been watching and all the videos that I've been watching with tips on breaststroke and techniques have made a difference, made a real difference in my swimming. I think I'm yeah, well, the technique is better, and so now I'm going faster, with less effort. It's kind of fun. Because today, there was an old guy, the old guy who's always there. There are a lot of old guys there. And uh, this young kid that's been there lately. So on one side, the old guy, and the young kid on the other side. And uh, I was beating them both. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it was beating the young kid. I thought, okay, I should give him a pointer, you know, go to YouTube and see some tips on breaststroke or all the strokes because then your swimming will improve. <laughs> Maybe he's a little too young. I mean, they have, it, it is adult lane swim, so he has to be a good swimmer, which he is, but uh, he's still a kid, so I'm still faster than he is. Wow. Who'd have thunk it? Not me for sure. I'm not a great swimmer. But anyway, my competitive edge comes out again. I got out of there, I'd say, five minutes faster than I have in the past. So, or 10 minutes faster than, than I was at night. So something has changed, something's changed. 10 minutes faster than swimming at night, cool. Probably just a fluke, but whatever. The hospital is, is uh, oh, of course it's under construction. It's always under construction, but they change the whole entrance from one side to the other, the whole parking from the one side to the other. And now there's like mega parking and it's, it's, there's less parking, but there are fewer people parked there, which is kind of weird. I don't know what they've done. Anyway, it was really easy to park and pay and get in and out. 
So if you're ever at Cambridge Memorial Hospital, it's really cool right now. If you have to go there. Anyway, that is the state of the world at this moment. And, uh, there are people over there. I'm sitting somewhere where nobody, just about, nobody can see me. I've got the shed, I've got the tree, I've got the house, and only over here can you see a little bit of street. And you can't see any houses in terms of their windows or doors or anything, or even driveways. The only thing I can see is my neighbor's driveway. And there go the kids from next door. Anyway, my arm's getting tired. And I've got to do some coffee drinking, hula hooping, and reading. I'm busy. Talk for you.